Hi, and welcome to another episode of Hot Takes with me, the Silver Fox. If you want to destroy a city, it's easy. You just rip the heart out of it. And there is no greater example of this than Glasgow. The SNP Council have done all they can to destroy it. They are doing all they can to make sure that not only is everything worse than it used to be, but it has no chance of recovering. They're putting uh, a low emission zone in to keep poor people out of the city. Not, um, not you know, not polluting cars. They're fine so long as they're new. But anyone who's poor and can't afford to upgrade, they're not allowed to come in. They're going to be looking at increasing car parking charges in the city's car parks. They're going to be looking to impose uh, a fine or a fee, a levy, for people to park at work which again will drive people away from the city centre. And so all these businesses that exist there and that thrive on having lots of people with a big footfall, they will all suffer. They will all close eventually, making more people unemployed, bringing poverty where there was wealth. It will be a sullen wasteland, devoid of anyone normal. It will be filled only by substance abusers like zombies, trolling the streets with nowhere to go, and nothing to do and it will be impossible to fix the whole heart of Glasgow will be dead and it will be calcified and nothing will ever start it up again this seems to be the direction that they are wanting to take and that they are pushing and there is no greater thing than when you lose your hard rock cafe let's take a look Glasgow's Hard Rock Cafe, the latest in a long line of venues to close as Scotland's biggest city faces a crisis. And of course, this is all Susan Aitken's fault. And if Susan Aitken had any shame, and she hasn't because she leaves the house looking like she does, she would know that what she's doing would, was completely wrong and that she is destroying everything. The destructive policies of the SNP simply laid bare because that's what they want they are a nihilist organization that wants nothing to live nothing to exist it wants a scorched earth you know barren and devoid of life devoid of hope devoid of happiness they truly are joyless and because it is that background that once they get that they can then sell you the idea of a utopia of an independent scotland but until then everyone must suffer the overall look of the centre has been heavily criticised and was summed up on social media this week when someone suggested Socky Hall Street would make the perfect backdrop for a 28 Days Later event. Now, I happen to know that when they were filming uh, World War Z, as they call it, World War Z as it should be, uh, they needed a place that looked like a place filled with, you know, zombies. Uh, they wanted a run-down, horrible place filled with these zombies. And so they went and filmed it in Glasgow. This is true. Also, back in the 77, 78, I think, something like that, late 70s, uh, and they were filming uh, Tinker Tailor, Soldier Spy, and they wanted uh, a place that represented East European, Soviet era, you know, uh, very run down, very dismal. And again, they went, they went to Glasgow. Glasgow, you've come a long way, baby. Anyway. Uh, and of course, yeah, and if you do look at Sucky Hall Street now, it does look like that. It is awful. They've dug it all up and it is an absolute mess. Anyway, there was a shock on Tuesday when it emerged that the popular Hard Rock Cafe in Glasgow had shut its doors suddenly. The chain restaurant posted a notice on its website, website saying it would not be operating on Tuesday. And it was later confirmed workers were being supported by unions with the branch set to close for good. A statement from the company said, We regret the Hard Rock Cafe Glasgow located at 179 Buchanan Street, will not be operating at this time, and indeed will not be operating again. Why? Because there's not enough people going past to sustain it. And why is that? Because they keep closing the city down. They keep saying, oh, come, we'll make it car free. Everyone will benefit. No, when you come out of a shop and you've got a hell of a load of goods, you don't want to walk. You don't want to take it on a bus. You want to put it in your car and drive home. And when you stop people coming in and stop taxis going in, or you've got people who work late and are in the dark, you don't want women walking through the dark at night. But that doesn't seem to affect the, you know, the likes of uh, Susan Aitken, who could walk home perfectly fine at night. After all, who's going to attack that? 
Anyway, situated in the plush historic Athenaeum Theatre building, which dates to 1893, the Hard Rock opened in 2013. It's not the first Hard Rock to close in the UK recently, with the London branch going last year. But while issues with the business model it adopts may be the biggest problem, there is little doubt Glasgow has lost popular haunts in recent years, leading to suggestions the city is facing a crisis. And you only have to look at everything they're doing and it's going to get way worse. Once, um, once they start charging people to park at work, there's a lot of people who work in the centre of Glasgow that just aren't going to do the job. I'm not going to sit there. I'm not going to. If you're on a shift worker, you're talking about, I'm not coming out at 10 o'clock at night and I'm going to try and find a bus or 11 o'clock or midnight for some of the night, you know, the clubs and bars and whatever. You come out at midnight, try and get a bus home. Don't think so, mister. Um, and then what you got? You got women walking the streets at night? No, not going to happen. Plus, you've got all those people who are earning just enough to get by, and then you want to tax them another 650 a year for the privilege of working. I don't think so. Jobs will relocate. People will just say, I can't do this job and go. Or offices will relocate out of the city. The whole city centre will die. Because without the office workers, for example, are there a lot of little shops and things. They will go because they're not getting the footfall. It's all interconnected. Anyone who understands even the basics of economics knows that everything is interconnected. The trouble is you've got the SNP running it and they're all either retarded or deliberately wanting to destroy the, the economy. It's take your pick with those two. So anyone who votes SNP is voting for the destruction of the town centre. You know, and it's not just Glasgow, it's up and down the entire country. You're voting for your own destruction because this is what they're doing. Uh, last year saw the closure of several bars and restaurants in key parts of the city. Glasgow Live identified over a dozen that had been lost, although that includes the Admiral Bar, which is due to reopen, but in a different location. Closing down in 2023 with the Woods Bar and Kitchen on Waterloo Street, with the unit becoming the new Admiral. It shut its doors after nine years at the date. Uh, Brian Ball at La Chardon d'Or also closed down after 22 years at West Regent Street. Bosses at the restaurant, which was recommended by Michelin, blamed the cost of living, working from home and the lack of support from the hospitality industry. Working from home, no people walking past, nobody going into town. And what the SNP are doing now is going to make that problem worse. And so even more people will struggle. More restaurants will close. More bars will close. More little sandwich shops will close. It's across the whole of the economy. And once people don't have a need to go into town, they don't go into town. And everything dies. Now, there's a whole list of places, but we're not interested in that. It's the principle that what they're doing is deliberately destroying the high street. And many, many more will go eateries, bars, restaurants, shops. And you, you create a high street filled with empty shops with whitewashed windows. It looks depressing. It becomes depressing. People then don't want to go to it because they don't want to be depressed. And so the shops that were previously still working then lose even more trade. They have to let people go. The unemployment builds until eventually there is nothing on the high street except chicken shops, uh, charity shops and bookies. And that's it. And that's what's seen time and time again. Look to any dead town centre, city centre, and that's all that lives. Chicken shops, charity shops and bookies. Nothing else. Because nothing, there's no one else wanting to go to them. Stop voting for the SNP and take your city back. Build it. Create something good. Stop employing people to be councillors who literally want and desire to destroy your city. Coming up. Now, of course, it's not just Glasgow. It's up and down the entire country. And all of it comes and stems from one thing. It's a bunch of virtue signaling lefty wankers who sit there with their sort of anti-car hard on, thinking, look at us, aren't we great? Look at the way we're, we're saving people by not allowing cars into the city centre. And then they're always surprised when the city centre dies. You need the cars, you need the transport. 
people can't carry heavy things very far. Some people who are, say, disabled or, or frail, they need access. They need to be able to get a car to the door of the shop. You know, it's no point sitting there building city centres for young, vital people who are easily able to run through and carry things when that isn't who the vast proportion of people who go to these towns are. You do it to yourselves. Stop voting them in. Anyway, I'll stop there. Thank you very much for watching. Do please hit the subscribe button, ring the bell, leave a like, leave a comment, please share the video, and I'll speak to you later. Bye.